year was 1984, Yuta Stewart received a gift from her mother in Wahoo. And little did she know that would be the start of a 30 year quest for the ultimate holiday village. The collection had outgrown her home in Lincoln, so Yuta got permission from the Marcus Theater at South Point Pavilions to display her enormous collection during the holiday season. Our Lance Schwartz has the story in this edition of Lance's Journal. Yeah, this brings imagination out. I can tell kids stories all day long. It's a habit more than a hobby, I think. Utah Stewart says that Department 56 collectibles were becoming very popular in the early 80s. And then after a while, during the whole year, I find these showing up at the thrift shops and garage sales and estate sales, and I um, frequented some of those. And consequently, the collection kept growing. Utah hasn't actually taken the time to count each of the pieces in this massive collection, but she guesstimates that there are more than 300 buildings and more than 1,000 pieces in this incredible collection. So after a while, they just kind of got hidden in the basement and nooks and corners of the house. That's why Utah needed a place the size of the South Point Theater building to display her massive collection. This is the nativity scene. Utah's collection is so large, she had to divide it into five different areas. Takes actually Jesus' life through the whole cycle. After the nativity scene, stop number two focuses on the wonderful world of Santa Claus. So we go to the North Pole here. The elves live here. Next up is display number three. What this represents is a shopping trip to the big city. So it's got a little bit of everything. You can even go take in the white Christmas at the movie theater while you're in the city, as we often do. Utah calls stop number four from the mountains to the ocean, and it represents America from coast to coast. And right smack in the middle of it represents Lincoln, Nebraska. The final display area is highlighted by the Dickens Village, which Utah still enjoys showing to her grandkids. Hey, look at the turkey that's up on there, you guys. How did the turkey get up on a roof? Turkeys can't fly that high. It took three weeks to set up this month-long display, and Utah is very thankful that the fine folks at Marcus Theaters allowed her the space to display her labor of love. And the biggest question, where does somebody store all of these? The answer, at the theater for next year. I'm Lance Schwartz, <laughs> 1011 News. Well, that's right. If things go as planned, Yuta's collection will be out for public viewing by Thanksgiving in 2015. And if you can't wait until then to see it, you have two more days to visit the South Point Theater, as this Sunday will be the last day for viewing. Okay, see, I don't know about you, but growing up, we had one of those holiday villages, but ours maybe took up about two to three feet at the base of our right. fireplace. Wasn't to that extent. Yeah, this is a very extensive collection. Mm -hmm. And for people who didn't have them, it's nice. They can go and check out all of her. I mean, she has so yeah. many. That's five, five different areas to go look at. It's impressive. Right? It's but cool. again, if you miss it, it'll be back next year. So that's yeah. good to hear. All right, we'll update your forecast next.